diamonds are forever, Mr. Bond. Bullshit. Let's roast these suckers. So, taking a look at the periodic table here. Table of periodicals. And we have... Carbon. So you can see I got two different allotropes here. We have graphite, nice little cylinder. And then... The diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, anyway. We got some rough diamonds here. About five carats worth. Thank you very much, patrons. If you would like to support the channel, please go to patreon.com slash elementalmaker and buy me diamonds. <laughs> so, common misconception is that diamonds are forever. So here we have diamond, and over here on the periodic table, you can see the element zircon. So I have a big slug of zirconium metal, and then a diamond simulant, zirconium dioxide, also known as cubic zirconia. It's a very nice looking, bright, refractive diamond simulant. So, let's see how these suckers react to the HHO torch. So, as you can see, we got the HHO generator set up looking a bit like the Death Star, or maybe, uh, maybe not the Death Star, but some sort of Empire fighter that's really overweight. That's the game plan. Get the heat out of there. <laughs> so, if you remember last time the terminals melted, this should resolve it. We got some thermal paste between the junction there to help transfer heat out into the aluminum heat fins and kind of wick that away. And we are going to be lighting this sucker up and seeing if we can't burn diamond and then one of its simulants, zirconium dioxide, cubic zirconia. So let's see if we can get these suckers flared up faster than a case of the herp. The cosmic regurgitator is going full tilt, and as you can see, we got HHO gas. Hopefully it doesn't shatter the ceramic I plan to use. Alright, so the Chinese 5 volt 60 amp power supply already went and dropped a deuce. So I'm using the 5 volt 20 amp adjustable power supply that I recently picked up and did a video on to power the torch so it's significantly less powerful and kind of keeps flaming out on me. And I dumped all the diamonds in here so hopefully I can get some to kind of stay in the direction of the flame here. So what I really want to do here is maybe mask the diamonds and then burn them for a while and then mass them later just to show that we are in fact losing mass as the carbon goes off as a gas. Alright, so we've got a reasonably precise scale. 0 0.80 grams. And we're just going to burn these for a while and see if there is a reduction in mass. And that'll tell us that they are in fact turning into CO2. There we go, I think we got a diamond fire. We are definitely burning diamond. Yeah, you can definitely at a certain point kind of see a plasma envelope form as we're basically burning off the carbon and creating CO2. Alright, curious to see if we got any sort of reduction in mass. Moment of truth. Let's see if we roasted any of them diamonds away. So difference of 0 0.02 grams. Not much, but I do think that is accurate. I think we did roast some diamond. So diamonds are not forever, and it's horseshit.
because they can burn. For instance, in house fires, lots of times you're left with, you know, jewelry collections. They turn into little pools of molten precious metal. Diamonds aren't anywhere to be found because they, they roast up, turn into CO2, tree food. Let's see what uh, zirconium dioxide, so cubic zirconia, do one of them. All right, so I've now got a cubic zirconia in there. I'm just gonna fire up here. Fucking diamonds everywhere. It's frustrating. Just trying to slowly heat it. Wow, is that bright. But it remains unchanged. Oh wow. Oh my uh going thermal lance again. Look at that. Yeah, I think gas volume is pretty important to stop the thermal lance situation. And with this lower output power supply. I think we're we're back at square one. Alright guys, so as you can see, it wasn't very climatic as <laughs> my usual stuff, but diamond does in fact burn. And cubic zirconia is just pretty much shatter. So what have we learned here today? Don't waste your money on jewelry. Buy tools. That's what I try to tell my wife. Gotta figure something else to do with the diamond. If you got any ideas, drop a comment. And there you have it. How to literally just lose half your diamonds on a workshop table. Incredible. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. It wasn't a super exciting video. I was, I was hoping it would be a little more climatic. I'm gonna order some bigger diamonds so they don't fly away every time I try to burn them. Anyway, gotta upload, otherwise YouTube will promptly steal my soul and sell it to Satan to, you know, turn a profit, as they do. <laughs> so, please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. A little contaminated, but hey, still diamond. <laughs>